Taskmaster. No! Oh my god, it's another Bosch! <laughs> For me? <laughs> Welcome to Taskmaster. I'm not the Taskmaster. I'm Adam from FWCI. This is Taskmaster Season 9, Episode 6. Bready, bready, bready. Bready or not, here I come. You can't hide. Is Lauren Hill going to be in this episode? Is she going to be the surrogate for Katie Wicks? Uh, I hope Katie's back, but if not... I want to know who we get. I want to... Can we get Ramesh in there representing Katie? Can we get a Mel Godridge? If Godridge ever appears on this show again, I'm just going to piss all over myself and my nipples are going to explode with delight. Spoiler alert, that's what's going to happen. And if you want to make sure you don't miss a second of that, go to patreon.com slash FWCI and you can get a full-length version of Taskmaster on Patreon. You just click and play. You don't even need your own version. She's all good. Uh, Five dollar dues a month. That's how much it costs. Uh, let's jump into the episode. Loving this season, loving this cast. Um, hopefully Katie Wicks is back, but if not, it's fine because Ed Gamble is there, Joe Brand is there, David Bedil. <laughs> Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Before we go any further, David Bedil. Very dumb. Appears to be very, very sharp, but he's not sharp. He is, he is blunt. He is dull. I'm gobsmacked at some of the stuff that he has done throughout this series. So I'm keen to see what David Baddiel has in store for us in this episode. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Taskmaster, Season 9, Episode 6, Bready, Bready, Bready. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the 70th episode of Taskmaster. Holy shit, that means I've done more than 70 reactions. Because I've done the bloopers and best ofs and holy shit. I'm probably getting up to a hundred, I reckon. No. Oh! It's a Catherine Ryan. I would have preferred Ramesh or Joe Wilkinson. Make the show because she was terribly unwell. That's right. Uh, this week, 100% better, didn't want to be here. So <laughs> she, <laughs> she is a champion, the champion of series two. It's Catherine Ryan! Hey! Alright, Catherine Ryan, what's going on? That's Peter Hudson. You know that you can trust him, yeah. Her advocate. I'm the Robert Kardashian of today. Is she OJ? What, are you, what is going on here? Man who got OJ Simpson off. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? They've been asked to bring in the thing that if you found it in a field, you'd be most pleased about. Straight into the lion's den, Catherine Ryan. The thing, if you found it in a field, you would be most pleased about. That is a very obscure um, thing there, little Alex Horn. Picture this, you live somewhere near a field, you need an air conditioner, you buy an air conditioner, you carry said air conditioner across said field, you get it home, you install it, you can't find the remote control, and for years and years you're getting up and turning it on and turning it off, and then one day, you're in a field and, voila, you find the remote control to the air conditioner. That would be very pleasing. Maybe that's a hypothetical, I don't know, but we're gonna go with it. That would be pleasing, right? You could find a... I, I like air conditioning, okay? And all that I wanted was a phone signal. That's what she's brought in? Oh. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. By the way, looking at Catherine Ryan, all I'm hearing is Amy's Bakery. I mean, I gave Alex a phone Thank a couple you. of months back, and all he did was he downloaded 600 pictures of muscular women. <laughs> <from> women. <laughs> Alex. Yeah. No, it was a package. It wasn't just. <laughs> Finding in the middle of a field is a cryptix. Now, I genuinely don't know what you're talking about. Cryptix. <laughs> Would it be if in the middle of a field you found a cryptic? Oh my god, an adventure is beginning. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> an adventure is beginning. <laughs> I'd like to find in a field most of all this. Out of this, this way out of the field. <laughs> very clever, very clever. Uh, you know, I'm not a fan of fields either. I'm with you. It's been a long time coming. This. This is us exposing the arrogance of the rambling community. Exactly. <laughs> really like that. <laughs> okay, okay. I like simple things. Yeah, you know what, David? That was one of your better efforts. 
it's a dead body. <laughs> <laughs> Who's dead body? Is that Ric Flair or a Targaryen? It's just a mannequin, and inside the cavity of the chest is loads of mini eggs. <laughs> Very pleasing. Eat his intestines like a delicious Easter snack. I wouldn't question who put mini eggs into a <laughs> mannequin. I'd just be troughing away, of course. I'd... <laughs> With a built in seat. Wow. Yep. Here now the you are talking my language. Looks like a normal trolley, <laughs> okay. not a normal trolley. I guess if you found that in a field, you'd be pretty happy with it. Poor sick Katie gets one point. Sorry, poor sick Katie. And Rose, uh, Amy's Bakery. Amy's Bakery. And if you don't know what I mean by Amy's Bakery, go check out my reaction to it. It is the craziest shit you have ever seen. And I like having lovely chocolate out of a, <laughs> <laughs> out of a mannequin stuff. I reckon the chalky eggs have got it. Oh, Four points, points to Joe Rand, five points to this lunatic. <laughs> oh, so many tasks. Bathing in tasks. <laughs> uh, where was I supposed to go? No, you're in the right place. <laughs> I'm just going to open the. Ah! <laughs> oh, ho, ho! <laughs> and so you excited about this. <laughs> How did she do that? Make a part of your body look abnormally long. Most realistic and abnormally extended. Okay, abnormally long body parts. Let's do it. Time starts now. <laughs> Are you having a stroke just then, Joe? Oh, no, that just makes her look like a weird old hippie. So, that's not a good look for you. A massive, long, extended eyebrow that grew out of one eye and then grew back into your head to the other side. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh, it was it? all monobrow, was it? Oh, Christ. I couldn't believe it either. Five points. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, you can't take it back. Find out if he went cock or not. Shall we have a look at David Baddiel? Hey! Oh, Baddiel, what did you do? Cock or not? Oh, hello, David. I like your shadow. Thanks. I've got an extended forehead. No, it's definitely long. It's not very straight. That's a bloody 400 head there, Badil. Hi, David. <laughs> oh, ow, my forehead. Ah, oh, how did you lose to Joe Brand in this one? Hers was creepy as hell. So you kept saying how the wigs, the dogs will look, and you also said I'm just a man doing things. <laughs> Nice. Nice. Good work. Wow. I don't see how that hand's relevant to what I'm doing right now. Well, I'm gonna go back inside. Wait, wait, hang on. Where's her hand go? Well done, Rose. Well done. Where's her hand go? Would you believe I'm single? <laughs> <laughs> With a torso like that? How could you be? Us tall people, nothing we like more <laughs> than getting our lovely legs through a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> the legs went straight out the window, if you have a look here. Uh, then there are two metres. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was all torso. He went straight down. Uh, have a look. Fuck, I know, Alex. So it's up to you which one you think she went for. I am going to assume that it is the third Option graphic. three. <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> what are we doing? Come on, gambler. What do you got? Do you want to guess which part I've done? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb, but it looks so funny. You've got a lot of breakages in your leg, though, there. And... I, I, I assume you become a different character when you extend a leg to that extent. Sure, long leg Lenny. <laughs> He's kicking back on his little barrel. <laughs> He takes that barrel everywhere. With his two knee joints. Yeah. Having a lovely... <laughs> I'm long-legged Larry. <laughs> Is that supposed to be her tongue? <laughs> you got a very hairy tongue, Katie. You should 
Not be too proud of yourself on that one. It was okay. It was okay. But this tongue, it was it was really surprising, really realistic. It was ah uh, now that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. The square at the end, <laughs> and it was hairy down the side. <laughs> <laughs> those, those were taste buds. <laughs> Come on, what are you talking about? A lolly. Steal it right out of Alex's. Mm. Mouth. <laughs> um, how long was that lovely tug? Uh, two giraffes or a quarter of the Arc de Triomphe. Uh, 12 metres. 12 metre long tongue, Christ. I, mean, I think Rose has got this. Oh, although Joe's, I think she might have it, to be honest. Even though, and I'll tell you this, he was my favourite character. I'm going to put it <laughs> oh, joint. Oh no! Long led Larry is in third place. That's bullshit. I'm going to give four points to Rose Matafeo simply because it wasn't as long as Joe Brand's eyebrow. Okay. <laughs> You're fickle. Fickle. Well done, Joe. Don't you go winning any more episodes, though. You had your win in the last one. Calm down. Nine points for Joe Brand. It's an emergency. Hello, Ed. Hey, Caster, what are you doing here? Any breadsticks may touch the melon at any point. There is a bonus point for the fewest breadsticks you... Joe Brand is not going to do a goddamn thing in this task, is she? Bosses wins your time. Starts now. Are there other breadsticks in the house somewhere? Big breadsticks? It really is just about pushing a melon up a side with a breadstick, isn't it? <laughs> what are you not seeing, Badil? Only breadsticks may touch the, the melon. melon. Only breadsticks may touch the melon. Can you tie them all to your hand and then... I really underestimated how heavy a melon is. Rose, yeah. you're you touching that melon. Are you trying to work out how to get the melon into the caravan with the breadsticks? Yeah. Yeah, I think she is, Alex. Oh, yeah, this is actually easy, isn't it? Hey, there you go, there you go. Oh, that's actually quite cool, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> I don't have anything to defend myself here. I did very badly. I've disappointed my family and my country. Yep. <laughs> Good night, New Zealand. <laughs> there wasn't a lot of learning went on, was there? It wasn't a good day. <laughs> what I basically want to do is have a coating of breadsticks on my hands with super glue. There you go. Maybe not with super glue, but some kind of hand breadstick glove. Can I have some gaffer tape and some rubber gloves, please? Katie Wicks. Katie. Do this. Got it, Joe. You got it. Yes. I'm shocked that she was able to complete the task. I thought she would have been like, no, I don't want to do it. I don't know what accent that was. And then there was breadsticks on top, and then it was just literally mm, mm. ready, ready, ready. <laughs> I know it was ready, ready, ready for part of it. I thought there was a bit of gluey, 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 gluey. Bollocks, bread. Alex. Yes. <laughs> what glove? Show me this glove. If it fits... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kai Ashkin, calm down. Sorry, Johnny Cochran. David Gamberdeal. David Gamberdeal. That's good. Well done, Alex. One point for you. Only breadsticks may touch the melon. Yes, at, yes. At any point. At any point. Mm. I'm massively in trouble now. OK, now I have to pick it up chopstick-like to get it back. Fucking hell, David. That was never going to work. What are you even thinking? Yes, good work. Push up breadsticks. Okay. All right, Ed, good work, good work. You got this. What the hell is David doing? 14 and a half. So I think if you've used half a breadstick, that's a breadstick. You think half a breadstick's a breadstick? I think half a breadstick's a breadstick. <laughs> Just write down 15 breadsticks. I'm off carbs. Wait, we're counting how many breadsticks they used? That right. <laughs> Joe Brand is like, why didn't I think of that? Oh, Captain, my Captain. <laughs> <laughs> I can only speak for myself. The show has totally altered my opinion of you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can say 14 and a half breadsticks is 15 breadsticks. Oh, what do you think the half one is then? Is that it's half a breadstick? Yeah, I agree with you, Gamble. Shut the fuck up, Alex on with your pedanticness. One person 
who made exclusively bread to melon contact. That person will take five points. Everybody else will receive that... nothing. <gasps> Holy ah! shit! <laughs> <laughs> five points to Ed Gumball! Wow, well done, Ed. And he only had to use 14 and a half breadsticks. And a chance for some musical narcissism now. Musical narcissism? This has got Joe Brand written all over it. <gasps> oh, wait. It's gonna be Katie Wicks. I was thinking we were gonna get Dad's Peter Hudson. You know that you could trust him, yeah. Taskmaster the musical! <laughs> Serenade yourself. You have 20 minutes to perform and receive your serenade. Most sensational. Oh, hell yeah. I like it. They're going to, like, double shoot it. This is going to be great. Do you have a harp? A harp? Yeah. You're going to serenade with a harp? You finished? Yeah. <laughs> Quick. Don't like to think too much about these things. <laughs> really? You don't, you don't say? All number ones with lyrics that I wrote. Yeah, you mentioned that before. Yeah. Didn't really think that much about them. Really? Is he a songwriter? Okay. Didn't know that. Or am I just being lied to? Most likely rapper amongst them is Joe Brand. <laughs> Joe! Spit some truth. Let's go. You don't smell, your hair's clean. And you're always so pleased. I'm moist. <laughs> oh, oh. Don't forget you're smart, smarter than your phone. And you don't say scone. No, you say scone. I'm clapped. <laughs> clapped? <laughs> well done. Well done. Didn't realise we were going to get some uh, fire rhymes in this one. You're moist. And I went, I think you'll find since the menopause I'm not. <laughs> oh. One person speak. Yeah. I've had to learn. Road man? What's road, road man? man? A road man is a particular type of teenage boy <laughs> and they wear trousers that show their bum cracks. <laughs> Isn't her daughter 60? All right, Katie, what did you do? <clears throat> This is a great, adorable task, by the way. Did you ignite? Did you what? Okay, see ya. Amazing. That was so good. If Katie Wicks wins the MVP award, I will have that clip of her trying to throw the roast to herself. That was just, that just looked cool. It's really awful, and I think that was the message that Katie was giving, especially with her reactions. Like, uh. So what you're saying is that Katie <laughs> leaving the rose in her mouth is a powerful metaphor for the clumsiness of young love. Yes. That's not what she said at all. She was saying it was, it was shit. <laughs> here we go. Oh, here we go. Is it masturbation? In some sense, it is. <laughs> I've changed my mind. Because from here it's clear you have head lice. <laughs> that was shit house. Oof, David, David, David. Speed up when you when you wrote it, you're like, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. And it was shit in the end. Yeah, you should have spent longer. Uh, now we've got Ed Gamble. All right, I'm keen for this. I want to call my girl. <laughs> they were right, and I have to agree. My nut brown hair, my beautiful eyes. I'd like to caress my own milky thighs. <laughs> oh, God. I've fallen in love with myself. Ha! <laughs> All right, he had the best person receiving the, um, the serenade for sure. Oh, that's an angry There's serenade. There's no smell as sweeter as my little chickatita. I'm hoping that it's okay if I order a bouquet. Stop it. I hope it's okay if I order a bouquet. That's a good line. God. As a matter of fact, I love you. Matter of Feo, I love you. She bravo. killed it. That was great. That was really good. Yes, bravo. For me? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. 
Five plus. Definitely. Absolutely nailed it. This is a real, real toughie, this, isn't it? Okay. No, it isn't. Rose, number one with a bullet. Okay, I'm going to give David two points, and let me tell you, one and a half of those points is pity. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> I don't know if she intended the metaphor. I'll speak to her about it and maybe I'll add a point on. Mm. Do you think you will? Nope. <laughs> I'm going to give every single one of them five sweet points. Okay. So nice. Rose, Joe and Ed with five points each. Yeah. Maybe not Ed. He deserves four. But definitely Rose and Joe, five points. It's a drawing of a muscly woman. <laughs> slider drink to the taskmaster. The worst slider each round. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Good luck, Ed. Half a pint of vodka. Why do I feel like Joe Brand probably knows, like, a trick about this? Oh. I mean, it was efficient. Both. Bosh. Where's Kerry Godlin? She should be here commentating this. Oh, that's close. My lord. Wow. Wow, good work. Catherine Ryan. That's Peter Hudson. You know she's singing it right now. In her head. That's what's going on. <laughs> Taskmaster's face there as well. First, I've got to point out, I'm the only one who didn't get a round of applause for stepping up. Because <laughs> <laughs> you've been shitting the bed this entire season. Great, right, who's what's the worst throw in round one? Well, Ed Campbell. Ed Campbell is out of the game. Good work, Dave. All he had to do was get it in the hand and he was golden. <laughs> she... <laughs> you see his reaction. She was going for him then, by the way. Oh, good work, Rose. Steady. Final thrower is, of course, David Peel. Yeah! Yep. <laughs> Let's cheer this man. <laughs> Fucking hell, David. All right, good work. All right, Joe's out. Rose is up. Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, bad luck, bad luck. Oh, damn. It's on the table. Yeah, but it's fucking sideways. It's real. Oh. <laughs> yes! Does that count as the best one so far? I'd like a lovely glass of white wine, please. Okay, Catherine, you're up first. Paying for Katie. Come on. Okay, Katie. Love's Come wine. on. Do the wine glass. You can do it. <laughs> no! But. Didn't spill. Still on the table. You might be in with a in with a chance. <laughs> oh my god. But <laughs> well Catherine Bryan came in as a substitute, wins the live task. And then Joe two, Rose three, David four, a valiant second place. Lovely work. But our super sub, Catherine Ryan, gets the full five points. Well done, Katie Wicks. Slash Amy's Bakery slash Catherine Ryan. 19 points is a gamble. The gamble! Oh, the gambler! I thought Joe Brand was going to win it again. Best thing to find in a field. What the fuck was that shit? Congratulations, the gambling man. Get into those mini eggs, Ed. Oh, fuck, that makes me really, really want some of those mini eggs. What? What is this? Shenanigans. Very fun episode. Great to see Catherine Ryan again. I did enjoy her work um, in season two, I think she was in. Um, so yeah, great surprise. Would have preferred Mel, Ramesh, Joe Wilkinson. Um, fuck, give me Sally Phillips. I don't know. There's a whole bunch of people I would have preferred, but it was still good to see her. Um, let's talk about the tasks. The pleasing thing to find in a field. 
that was a weird one but again that just lends itself to like you know really uh, interesting ideas i feel like david Badil had the best one in that with the sign explaining how to get out of the field i just think it was a good idea the task about making a part of your body look especially long what was david Badil thinking of that with his giant 400 head Bloody hell, that was just ridiculous. Um, Ed was really funny in that one as well. I think Rose probably did the best job, but Joe definitely got her on the um, the mathematical side of it with that ridiculous uh, <laughs> unibrow. It's infinite, I guess. Pushing the watermelon with the breadsticks. God damn, that looked like a gigantic pain in the ass. I'm glad I uh, have never had to do that before in my working life because that just looked like a nightmare. Um, but they did have some pretty interesting ideas in that, except David Baddiel, he just cracked the shits and smashed it with a mallet, which is, uh, you know what, probably for the best. I think my favorite task of the episode was the uh, serenade one. That was really, really creative and really clever. They clearly had an idea of how they were gonna shoot that before they filmed it and it worked out perfectly. Whoever designed that task from like a cinematography standpoint uh, deserves a um, tip of the hat to them because that was really, really good. Uh, Rose Matafeo absolutely killed it. Joe Brand did surprisingly good as well. David Baddiel, I expected more and it's even more hilarious because he did rush it and he clearly should have taken an extra five minutes to write down something funny and interesting. Instead, it was just weird and dumb. So he shit the bed once again and the live task that's a lot of fun the old slide the drink down there and try and you know see who can do it the best and who can do it without spilling the most and stuff like that that's what the live tasks should be like and i know there's you know only so many you can do and invent off the top of your head but uh i enjoyed the idea of that and uh it feels like a very um, even task. I don't think anybody really had the advantage on it, but overall, this was a good episode. I can't wait to continue on through Taskmaster season nine, and then it's on to season 10. I'll be doing New Zealand at some point, and a whole bunch of other stuff will be coming up on the channel. So make sure you subscribe here on YouTube, subscribe buttons down there, and patreon.com slash FWCI is where you can go get early access and full length versions of Taskmaster. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe. Look after your friends. See you in the next video, boost. He's the taskmaster, beating my heart faster. Took it with the either, with the either we here. He's the taskmaster, beating my heart faster. With the with the either, with the either we here.